Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And today Apple released yet another beta. iOS 14.5 Developer Beta 5 is now available for registered developers. Now, public beta testers, this one is coming down to the wire. This one is almost ready to go. So you should see the beta for public beta testers a few hours as of the filming of this video. By the time you watch this video, public beta testers, this may be available for you as well. Again, iOS 14.5 Developer Beta 5 released today on March 23rd. We'll talk about expected release dates. I want to go ahead and clarify some of the stuff going on with expected release date. But aside from iOS 14.5, Apple also released a macOS Big Zer 11.3 Beta 5 is available for registered developers. Of course, iOS 14.5 Beta 5 is here. iPadOS 14.5 Beta 5 is here as well. Watch OS 7.4 Beta 5 and TV OS 14.5 Beta 5 is here as well. So updates across the board. Now, there's a few changes here that I wanted to talk about in this video, of course. Now, it was kind of weird the way this beta populated onto my devices. Now, one device was showing iOS 14.5. Beta 5 with a download of 5 or 4 gigs, which is kind of interesting. This is pretty much overriding the entire OS, which is interesting to me. And another glitch that I came across is that it didn't even show as a beta for this iPhone 12. So it showed as iOS 14.5 and the download was approximately 248 megabytes. So let me know which one did you get? Did you get the beta 5 prompt with a larger software update? Or did you get the, I guess, RC build right here with a smaller software update? Now, I don't want to say that this is officially an RC, but we once again get a build number with the letter A. So the letter A repeats here on the build number, which is kind of interesting as well. 18E5186. A. Now, as you remember last week, the build number was also ending with the letter A. Now, let me go ahead and talk about some of the latest changes that I've noticed so far. Now, I've only had this software installed on this iPhone for about an hour and a half or so. Now, one thing I've noticed right away is that the messaging service like WhatsApp and the Facebook messaging, the voice memos that weren't working properly, it looks like that seems to be addressed so far that I've noticed with the latest beta. That's something to keep in mind there. Also, one thing that's different here under software updates, you may remember in beta 4, this said uh, software updates, install security updates, so download a new iOS updates and install security updates. Now, Apple has switched that once again to download iOS updates or install iOS updates, which is kind of interesting. It looks like Apple just doesn't want to make up their mind on what to call this, but again, it is now back to this here. I think I prefer this one here to install security updates over the air without having to install an entire software on an iPhone. But yet, Apple has addressed a few bugs. The uh, actual animation for MagSafe is fixed as well since Beta 4. And as I mentioned, some of the issues with the messaging service, third-party messaging service, are now fixed as well, or at least it appears to be fixed so far. Of course, you can stay tuned for my follow-up video. I'm updating the iPhone SE first generation, the second generation, iPhone 11, iPhone 12, and all my other devices. While well, I take a deeper dive on the follow-up here in just a few days, give you guys additional details in regards to the battery. I know a lot of you guys want to know how's the battery on the latest beta. So my YouTube community poll will be posted shortly after this video. Now, expected release dates. Now, you may remember me mentioning that Apple could be holding an event on March 23rd. Well, as we know, that did not happen. So it means that Apple could be continuing to test this beta for at least another week or two. Now, my prediction was in between the week of the 22nd or the week of the 29th. Now, I don't see this happening on the week of the 22nd any longer because Apple is no longer holding an event this week. It appears that they're not holding an event at all. So if Apple was to hold an event, apparently the latest rumors indicate to be April. Now, this software could be dropping before the actual event, which is quite interesting. We'll have to wait and see what happens. I believe that Apple will still be releasing this software next week on the week of the 29th of March, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe we'll get a release candidate before the official release later in April. At this point, things are kind of weird the way Apple is handling situations. A bunch of leakers also fell into, I guess you can call an Apple trap. Everybody thought that there was an event on the 23rd. Nothing at all happened on the 23rd, but the way Apple did do something today was update their suite of applications. Pages is now updated as of today. 
Keynote has also been updated as well. And you also have the new numbers application. These are all by Apple, which have been released and updated today with new software. So aside from that, of course, you can stay tuned for my follow-up video. In terms of expected release date, I still believe this will be released on the week of the 29th, or at least a release candidate, the RC. We'll have to wait and see, guys. Thank you for watching this quick one. Stay tuned for the follow-up, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.